Hello friends, welcome to this online series of lectures on Industry 4.0. So in this particular lecture, we are going to focus on India, right? How India is preparing for the Industry 4.0 implementation. Previously, we looked into the state of nations, current state of Industry 4.0, how the uh, world is coping with the developments in the area of Industry 4.0. In the last to last lectures, we also discussed about the concept of Industry 4.0, the origins, history of uh, Industry 4.0, the pillars of Industry 4.0, and we also discussed about the design principles of Industry 4.0. In this particular lecture, we are going to focus on India only, how India is implementing, what are the drawbacks, what are the limitations, what are the hurdles that are coming in India way when they are uh, implementing the Industry 4.0 technology. So let's start. Now talking about in terms of economy, right? India's GDP rate in uh, the recent figures from September 2020s are worst. It is second worst to be precise, almost minus 7.5. If you see in this uh, comparison chart, minus 7.5 for India, second worst from UK, right? And if we compare it with China, it is it is in positive terms for China. It is five almost. <coughs> So worst figures, it's because of the pandemic. But our, you can say the assumptions, you can say the aspirations are very high. Talking about the manufacturing sector, if we talk about 2016 figures, it is almost 16 to 17% of the whole GDP, worth almost 30, 300 billion dollars, right? Now, with the estimates, positive estimates and 7.5 GDP growth rate, the estimations are almost 25% to the contribution towards the GDP, which is almost 1 trillion US dollars, right? So it is because of the uh, penetration of the Industry 4.0 technology. We are hope hopeful we will be early adopting this Industry 4.0 technology into the manufacturing sector so that it will develop into a trillion dollar economy. <clears throat> Talking about cloud computing, see, we will look into each and every area, each and every pillars of Industry 4.0 and compare it and how it is developed within India, right? Talking about the core uh, technology components of Industry 4.0, the first one is cloud computing. Then we have big data, right? <coughs> and then we have Internet of Things. So these three are the major pillars. Uh, the first one, cloud computing, if we talk about it, is worth $2.5 billion. That is India's highly competitive cloud computing market where the Amazon is the leader, right? And 24% is the expected annual growth rate. That is the CAGR, compounded annual growth rate, which is globally from 20 to 25. 12% is the share of the revenues that is coming out from the Amazon. That is, the, and it is obviously the market leader right now in the cloud computing business as we have seen in the previous lectures. Here, if we compare it with different uh, companies with almost 33% Amazon Web Services, AWS is the leader, right? Then <coughs> we have the Google Cloud and Microsoft Azure services. Let's look into the worldwide robot installations. These figures are from the 2019, right? And if we focus on India, right, it is almost 4,300. If It is in thousands of units, installations. Right? and the 15 large markets worldwide. And if you compare it with China, it is almost 140.5, right, in terms of thousands of units, right? So again, India is catching up, no doubt, in terms of industrial automations. This is in terms of industrial robotics installation, which is a part of, or a key component of Industry 4.0. And let's look into the estimates forecast with the industrial robots where we are heading to. Uh, at the end of 2020, almost 6,000, uh, from 4,000 to 6,000, which is, which is a very good figure, right? And it is increasing, right? So <coughs> let's look into the IoT market in India. Almost 60% is focusing on the industrial IoT, rather than um, it is completely different from outside India. The, movie, the main focus is on home automation. Here, uh, the automation, the Internet of Things area is dedicated towards the industrial automation or you can say industrial IoT. Almost 60% of share is there. And if we talk about CAGR, compounded annual growth rate, it is 28%. With 
uh, if we uh, compare the figures 2016 figures it is 36000 crore right and it is estimated to grow at the end of 2020 worth of 97000 crores right if if you see it's more than double right with the compounded annual growth rate of 28% <coughs> talking about big data analytics market huge market within india because all the IT companies, information technology companies are there, analytics companies are booming within India, right? And it is worth 13,000 crores, almost 13,000 crores right now. And it is going to grow at the rate of almost 26% compounded annual growth rate with almost 1 lakh crore by 2025. What it means is that India's share with the global market will be almost 32% if we talk about big data analytics. Right. In short, some of the key areas uh, talking about big data, Internet of Things, industrial robotics. In terms of industrial robotics, India is slowly taking the pace. Right. But big data analytics and Internet of Things devices, a lot of activations are there specifically in industry side. And in terms of big data, it is almost catching up and it is going to grab the market uh, worldwide. <coughs> Now let's look into the skill depth. What are the challenges uh, specifically for India whenever they are implementing? They, are impl they have implemented, but why it is at a slow pace, right? What are the hurdles coming up? So starting with the skill development issues, which is a prominent issue uh, right now within India. If we talk about any employers, you will say there is a skill gap between the employers and the uh, probable candidate for the employment. If we talk about the world market for the skill development, here if you see, in India, the, if you uh, compare the ratios of the vocational training capacity to the workforce, almost 50 crore workforce is there and the vocational capacity is almost 44 lakhs. And that is coming out to be 0.8%. And if you compare it with China, it is 11%. No doubt we have workforce, right? But to have this skilled workforce, it's a huge gap, right? There is a huge gap. We have workforce, but there is a gap of skill development, right? <clears throat> Again, if we talk, uh, if we compare it with the world leaders, South Korea is, for example, Japan is there, Germany is there, India is far more lagging behind in skill development. That is why educational sector, if you the educational policy should be such towards the industry 4.0 adoption that the development should be there within the industry 4.0. Right, the skill development should be there within the sector of industry 4.0 automation, industrial automation. And that is why here India is lagging behind at almost 4.7%. So let's talk about the AI patents, artificial intelligence. In the previous lecture, we looked into the trends of top 10 trends uh, of uh, 2021 for the industry 4.0. And the first uh, was the artificial intelligence. In, top, uh, with, uh, in this same regard, if we talk about the patents, India is almost 70 uh, we, <coughs> the countries and the leading country is US with almost 766 patents regarding the artificial intelligence. This also uh, tells you more about the research uh, expenditure. Uh, China, for example, uh, almost double the R&D that is done by the India yearly uh, uh, compared to the GDP. Right. China spends more than India in terms of R&D, research and development purposes. Right? Same with the US as well. <coughs> Let's talk about the augmented and virtual reality market, which is also a component of the industry 4.0. Almost 55% of the CAGR is there from 2016, 2016 to 2021. If we uh, talk about the gaming market, it is US dollars 500 million almost which is forecasted at the end of 2020 and roughly about 792 million dollars right the driving force is gaming definitely you have uh, the displays for the projections right head on displays are there you might have seen htc displays there google cardboard displays there all this uh, head up head on displays or uh, you can say which are uh, used for experiencing the virtual reality right are already in the market you can buy one for yourself as well and, but these are also being used in the medical uh, industries 
right specifically for example here it is shown in the defense industries they are used to locate or you can see the scan the area or locate the targets with the head up and head mounted displays and the budget is also being uh, provided for this uh, this re uh, extended reality devices and most of the users are concentrated on the south region of india right and if we talk about the activations there are uh, india is one of the countries with the leading uh, internet ready devices right so that is why uh, next era is of industry 4.0 where the whole system is uh, relying on the internet uh, enabled services and devices so let's look into the cyber security region or you can see the area how, how india is uh, developing in this area which is also a key component right specifically bitcoin uh, is also a buzzword right now worldwide so if you see the compounded annual growth rate from 19 to 22 it is 15.6 percent right from bfsi that is banking banking and financial services and insurance sector almost 16 percent 18 percent from it enabled services right sector government sector is almost 13.8 and other sectors um, you can say retail or other sectors are almost 14.6 industrial sectors are comprising of the overall development of the cyber security market these are the trends which are happening within the cyber security which is also a component of industry 4.0 right so overall if you see india india is almost ready or you can say developing uh, very readily uh, within this area but what are the challenges let's look into the challenges but before that uh, let's look into one more area which is additive manufacturing where india's percentage is almost 3 to 5% not much where the china and india if you see china it is almost 47 to 50% even more than the us which is 36% right <coughs> so india is very much uh, slow within the adoption of additive manufacturing technology right and these figures are from 2019 so what are the key drivers uh, if we focus on the india's implementation uh, scenario right how india is preparing for this industry 4.0 three key play players are there uh, they have to contribute starting from the industry how they are developing how they are uh, using the budget uh, capital budget for this industry 4.0 how they are implementing the framework of industry 4.0 using the investment if uh, talking about the cost benefit ratios uh, analysis should be there so industry four industries are the key players right talking about the educational policies wise uh, more and more skills should be developed more and more vocational uh, training academies should be developed more and more workforces should be developed to get the knowledge right to get the expertise on industry 4.0 technology and such uh, skill developed that they can be in such a way that they can be used within the industry 4.0 so that these are the hurdles or if they are implementing if industry is implementing the hurdles the key hurdle is uh, getting the exact skill right a uh, skilled worker for this uh, job right and this skilled workers should be uh, such that the educational policy should be such that uh, they should provide this skill to this industry right so that they can uh, reduce the gap between the candidates probable candidates who are looking for the jobs within the industry 4.0 scenario it will reduce the gap between the employees and the uh, probable employees and the employers now talking about the third key component which is government right government should also take uh, bring up the new policies let's say for example in the sustainable manufacturing technologies uh, they are coming up with this fame right uh, policies where you have to uh, they can, you one can easily adopt the uh, sustainable renewable technology electrical vehicles uh, for the personal usage so such kind of policies should be framed up right with uh, by the government uh, so that these uh, they can be driving forces right they can drive our uh, for the successful implementation of industry 4.0 so talking about the government side if we say starting with the national manufacturing policies in 2017 make in india policies uh, focusing on the industrial automation is also a key driver for the industry 4.0 and lot of companies are already uh, foreign uh, 
multinational companies are investing within India, right? And from there, they are also bringing up this digitalization, or you can say the fourth industrial revolution in India. Also, you have the center of excellence where you have the research programs provided for the IT industries. Uh, again, which it is also focused on the industry 4.0. One of the center is in Pune as well as in IISC Bangalore. We have national program on artificial intelligence, specifically focusing on the uh, research in artificial in intelligence deep learning area, which is also dedicated to big data analytics. And finally, we have the mission on cyber physical system, which is uh, adopted or you can say policies um, being laid down by the Department of Science and Technology as per the budget 2018 and 19, which is focusing on cyber physical system, which is a part of industry 4.0. So that these all uh, policies are framework right, for the overall development and these definitely are the key enablers for the adoption of the industry 4.0 within India. And challenges, talking about the challenges, some of the key challenges if we compare two uh, big uh, economies worldwide, by China and India. If we talk about China, the lack of expertise, specifically again, here skill development is the main focus here, right? Has more concern about this uh, expertise in China. But if we talk about India, if you see here, the head to head comparison, security concern is also there. And finally, unclear standards are there. There are no, uh, uh, industry standards uh, where from where you can develop the industry 4.0 framework or you can implement the industry 4.0 within the manufacturing right so these are some of the challenges starting from the data security right we call it cyber security budget is there you don't have the how we are going to go with this implementation right management resistance is also there compatibility issues are there within the system Right, expertise where you have the uh, lack of skills uh, towards this industry 4.0 you have the shortage of implementation manpower again if you do not have the skills you do not have the skilled workforce you cannot implement the industry 4.0 technology you have the cost to benefit ratios there should be a planning uh, from where you have this return of investment uh, you can analysis detailed analysis should be there in terms of cost benefit right and then finally you have the unclear standards there is no uh, standards specifically when you are adopting the industry 4.0 there are no clear standards starting from the government side or industry side right so all these are the hurdles but still uh, all these hurdles are being overcome slowly and steadily and india is also developing in this area right so that's all from here uh, from today's lecture in today's lecture we discussed how specifically india is working on in industry 4.0 we looked into different market shares different component market shares if we talk about indian manufacturing scenario or you can say indian market scenario in terms of iot big data additive manufacturing and india is slowly catching up adopting the industry 4.0 thank you from my side uh, in next lectures we are going to look into in detail how do you come about to develop the framework and technology roadmap of industry 4.0 thank you